Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Bully. Today I am going to show you guys how to fulfill a Printify order in your WooCommerce store. This tutorial is for somebody who already installed and integrated Printify in your WooCommerce store to start to sell print-on-demand products. Before we get started, I want to welcome back all my subscribers. I appreciate you all. But for those who are brand new to my channel, my name is Bully. I create tutorials about e-commerce web designs focusing on user experience using WordPress. With that being said, let's get to the tutorial. <laughs> All right, let's go to the demo store. This is my demo store. Right now, it's still on maintenance mode. So I need to turn off or disable the maintenance mode to let my demo store live for a little bit for testing. And that's the product. That's the t-shirt that just added for testing. Let's go to the seed prod and toggle that button to turn off the maintenance mode. Right now, my demo store is live for the time being and I need to log out. Yep, I completely logged out now. So let's go back to the front end. This is the front end of the store. Click shop. That's where all my products are. Scroll down a little bit. And that's the t-shirt that I just added through my Printify store. Scroll down a little bit. I will... Let's see. I probably would choose... There are a couple colors or well, there are many colors that I added. I will pick the yellow color, I think, and just click the yellow, and I will pick my size, scroll down a little bit, and let's add it to the shopping cart. Okay, that's the yellow shirt that I am going to buy for a test. Let's go to the shopping cart. And let's see how much it's gonna cost. And you just scroll down and click the button proceed to check out right here. And then I will fill up all my billing and shipping information right here. In this tutorial, I will use PayPal to pay for the t-shirt. Once you are done filling out the form, yeah, that's the PayPal option. And then I have to select, I have read and agree to the website terms and conditions before I press the button proceed to PayPal. And you will be redirected to the PayPal website that you have to sign in to your account if you have an account with them. Otherwise, you have to sign up an account with them before you could do this. And you can also choose to pay with a debit card or a credit card over here with the PayPal once you're done. You could click the button, it will be redirected you back to the demo store. That's the order that I got, number 1717. The customer will receive a confirmation email about their order and the admin will also receive an email about the new order. As the admin of the online store, you will receive an email notification from PayPal about the transaction and they will tell you how much money you've earned from it too. Let's log into the dashboard as an admin to see the new order. Go to WooCommerce. 
click orders. You should be able to see the new order listed on this page. And then just click on the customer's name to see more details about the transaction. And this is the transaction. Right now, the status of the order is as on hold. At this point, you don't have to worry about updating the status manually at all. Your system should send out another email telling the customer to confirm about their order within one hour. And when you log into your Printify account, you should be able to see the new order right here. As of right now, the status is pending. Once the third-party printing provider completes and ships your customer's order, usually within two days, they will send an email to your customer on your behalf as a note added to the order. The order status in your WooCommerce store will be updated automatically as complete. Your customer can also check the order status on your store if you set up a track order page for them too. Here are the order details that your customer can track without having an account with your online store. 10 days later. All right, guess what I've got in the mail today? I've got my t-shirt that I placed an order on my demo store. It took about 10 days for me to receive this package in the mail. All right, let's check it out how my t-shirt's gonna look like. This is the front of the package and the top corner label displays the name of my Printify and the demo store's name. In this case, it's demo store, of course. Under the name is the address of the nearest location of the third-party printing provider near my house. New Jersey Bella Canvas. All right, this is the shirt. This is the design that I designed myself in Illustrator real quick. And the shirt, I got Bella, Bella Canvas Heirloom Jersey. So far, the texture of the shirt is quite pretty good, I think. It's what exactly what it says or what that print provider that I showed for this t-shirt, exactly what the description says on the, I mean, on the Printify website when I add it into my store on Print Printify. All right, I'm gonna try this on. Let's see if it's gonna fit me. All right, I'm gonna wash this t-shirt and let's see how much it's gonna shrink because this is 100% cotton. Ta-da! This is the shirt after a wash, so it doesn't get a color fast and it doesn't shrink much. So far, so good. The print quality is still... The print quality still looks the same before I washed this shirt, so... All in all, the shirt has a very good quality with very cheap price, I would say. That's all for today's tutorial. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about the process of fulfilling a Printify order and would love to share it with our community. I would love to hear from you guys a lot. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and turn on that notification bell so you won't miss any future uploads about e-commerce web designs from me and if you guys find this video helpful somehow please give it a thumbs up i would appreciate your support a lot if you want to support my channel i add all the links in the description box below for you guys to check out 
All right, thank you so much for being here to watch my video. You have a wonderful day wherever you are. I will see you in my next video. Bye now.